Hello friends, welcome to Penhouse Totten. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Oliver 1000 HDR fountain pen. And here, this video is specifically taken to give you the clear insights on the pen because just with photos, you cannot fully understand about this. So, here this is a blue and golden mixed marble color cap which has a transparent body. The brand's name Oliver and the model's name 1000 is mentioned in the cap or body itself and it has a golden color clip and a golden color ring in the cap portion a very sturdy clip portion and the cap held on this body with a threading mechanism you have to unscrew the cap to open this the same grip portion the uh, cap same color grip portion is there and this is number 8 nib which is a medium tip gold plated one and you can swap the nibs as you like since we have number 8 nibs in many brands and also number 35 nibs with this pen and for that you can go to our site click pen spares then go to nibs and there you can use a filter and make a query on what you require and especially in can right we are having in a fine medium and broad flex in number 35 and again with gold well tone and silver plate nibs are available so the choice is yours and in that uh, nib it is mentioned as iridium point with a very decent design in the top now to the measurement the holding areas diameter is 10.4 mm and the body is 11.9 mm and the length of this pen without cap is 124.2 mm With cap it is 134.8 mm and yeah with this measurement you can get some idea about the pouches for this pen. If you maintain this with the pouches and all the same aesthetic and shininess of this pen will last forever. And for pouches you can refer our site. We are having a single pen pouch, double pen or a, a four pen pouches are available so you can check as per your wish. Now to the weight of this pen. The entire weight of this pen is 16, 15 grams. And as the holding area's diameter is a bigger one, this pen is more suitable for the adults who have bigger fingers. And also, the reservoir capacity is more. You can fill more than 3 ml of inks in this. And please note, since this is a transparent body, please do not use primary color inks so that the ink will uh, create a strain on the wall of this pen and on pen maintenance please wash the pens regularly that is twice a month because all the dye based ink will precipitate on the longer usage so it will block the ink's passage in the feeder so you will get a scratchy writing and slowly the ink will write quickly and then you may have to shake the pens for the ink flow to come out the reason is the blockage in the feeder screw so to clean the dirts and deposits in the feeder, you can easily remove this the nib and the uh, feeder unit separately by holding this together and twist and pull it out. So yeah, this is so simple to remove. After removing, you can flush the feeder with the help of any brush or clean it well with soap water. So if you are soaking in soap water, then allow it for an hour and brush and clean. This is again easy to fix it back. In some ink bottles itself, you can notice on every fill it is recommended to clean the pen with water. Here it is a brill bottle, here it is given. Clean your pen with water before filling with brill ink. It has unique formulation, prevents glogging and quick uh, uh, aids quick drying on paper. So it is clear. Unless otherwise we have good cleaning and maintenance, the flow will be affected. And also, all the threads are turned to own out. So to increase the life of the threads, Please apply a silicon grease or Vaseline every time when you are opening and closing the grip area during the ink fill. This will increase the life and also whenever you fill the ink, fill below the inner threads. If you fill in excess, the leakage path will create it and you will spoil your hands. 
and few nibs need to be fine tuned because during the manual assembly of nibs the tines may stick together so gently push the tines up and down so it will create some space in between the tines so you get a smooth writing and a very good ink flow in turn and whenever we dispatch the pens to a customer we do this fine tuning and we will check before dispatch this is our usual practice and here let me give the writing sample of this pen with our penthouse emerald green ink very smooth writing the ink flow is coming out very well and all your nibs are very fine uh, a very best one and for children who are just going to start with fountain pens they can absolutely try this for uh, Oliver pens if they practice in this nib they will have a very good handwriting in any fountain pens the nibs and the ball, uh, pens are very uh, good quality, quality one And yeah, if you have any query about this pen, you can ask in the comment section or else you can make a call to a mobile number. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.